Hi, this is Larissa Reed. Um, I have a story to tell. I need to tell the story because it's something that happened to me today in which I practiced mindfulness in a really tense and shameful for me situation. And it's something for me to refer back to. This, this um, video and the story is something for me to refer back to because sometimes I really need to see how far I've come. And this story is about to illustrate I'm really proud of myself for how I reacted in a really tense and um, pressuring situation. And also if this story, I, I don't know, triggers or heals or rings anything for any of you, my viewers, then it will be like a double blessing for me as well as for you. So I am at a business convention right now in Salt Lake City, Utah for doTERRA, um, which is one of the businesses that I, that I do, that I love, love the company, I love it, I support it, I love the people that are here. Um, what was interesting was when I first got here, I, my, um, I, I flew alone and um, I, ha I am rooming with uh, two other women who are great people, friends of mine. But yesterday, while I was traveling, while I was flying, and, uh, and this morning, I was just feeling really lonely. And I was surrounded by thousands of smiling, happy people, but feeling super lonely and so that was the first thing that I was really aware of like I'm just I feel really alone I feel really unseen I feel really inconspicuous and that's hard for me um, I like to be noticed and I like to I like to be liked and I like to have friends and I like to have people around me and and chatting like I, I love that kind of excitement and energy and I didn't have any of that and um, I was just feeling really alone. And so that was the first thing that I noticed. Kind of this, I can, I can make the feeling with my hands, like just kind of like, oh, feeling. And so I was really aware of that and I found a seat by myself. Now, I have a lot of friends and a lot of team members and a lot of people here, but they also have all their friends and all their team members and that's totally fine. Like. Or I guess so I thought like I didn't need anybody I, I'm fine by myself I'm confident in everything but today I noticed that I was feeling lonely and I was feeling sad so I find a, I found a seat after a lot of searching by myself and I was sitting down by myself and just kind of being with myself you know going inward and breathing and putting some of my essential oils on and stuff and um, as the as the uh, convention went on and there were people speaking and it was great um, I felt a lot of gratitude in my heart and it brought tears to my eyes and so I had this emotion this moment where I was really emotional and I was just like I am so grateful for the good people who started this company and the good things that it does for the planet and for people and the humanitarian efforts and like in my own own family how it's blessed us and our health and me and my um, confidence in myself and what I as a mom and a woman can accomplish and can achieve and um, what a financial blessing it's been to us and just so many things I can't even begin to describe and so I had this moment of so much gratitude like it was literally overwhelming and came out of my eyes so I went from really lonely to emotionally grateful so that was a lot of emotions and then as as the program went on I noticed that the lady next to me was holding a tiny baby. This baby had to be like two months old, maybe. Like really, really young. And I became aware that she was holding the baby for the baby's mother who was sitting behind the lady. So it was me, the lady holding the baby, and then the lady's mother was sitting, or sorry, the baby's mother was sitting behind her, the lady holding the baby, her friend. And the baby caught my eye and smiled and smiled and like I felt like oh somebody noticed me like and it was an innocent baby and like that was really 
it was really sweet to me and the baby smiled and just like poured so much love into me and I just so received it like it was just such a beautiful moment for me and I was like God knew that I needed this I mean gosh he sent me this baby and it was just kind of anyways and then I am the mother of three children and um, my youngest is four years old and I recently a couple of months ago had a failed pregnancy and so that's not something that everybody knows but that's still a little bit tender to me and so I had this moment where I was like I want a baby oh, if you're watching this thank you for hearing me because this is still kind of raw because I was sharing this sweet moment with the baby and then I had this urge, you know, babies have this particular smell. And so I was like, I want to smell this baby. <laughs> and so I asked the lady, can I lean over and just smell his hair? Like I just wanted to smell his hair. And I leaned over to just smell his hair and the mother sitting behind the lady screamed at me like absolutely freaked out everybody turned around and was like what happened what happened and she was like no no what are you doing what do you think you're doing oh no and I jumped back like horrified and humiliated and I looked at her and then she was like oh that was close oh thank goodness please don't please don't 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 touch my baby and I was like oh my gosh And like in the moment, in the moment, I was like, it's okay, mama. Like, it's okay. Like, it's okay. You, you have a right to protect your child. And, and I, and I told her, I said, I'm glad you said something. You're fine. And I backed off. And I could feel my face burning from humiliation and my heart. Oh. Even as I tell this story, like, it's hot in here all of a sudden, you know? But even as I tell this story, I can feel the shame come back. I was really embarrassed. But it went deeper than that, you know? Because as I sat there, oh my gosh, I didn't think I would cry so much during this or I would wait until tomorrow to make the movie, the video. Anyways, as I sat there and the shame took over, and the humiliation of being like the object of that. And I could still hear her like, oh, like breathing really like, almost like a phew, you know, thank goodness that I saved my baby. For, I don't know. And I could tell also that she reacted almost, um, overreacted without thinking and that she was also embarrassed and like, Everybody was embarrassed and I was humiliated and as I sat there I like had this fantasy of just standing up and just hitting her over the head with my backpack and yelling you have no idea you have no idea you're selfish horrible nasty person like you have no idea and all of that was going through my mind and and it all just like welled up through my eyes and of course that was even more embarrassing trying to hide the tears rolling down my face after that embarrassing situation but I could feel the shame and then I felt the anger and I felt like this fantasy to retaliate and I felt all of that move through and then I just felt a lot of sadness and uh, forgiveness I guess because she really did have the right as a mother to protect her baby of course I knew that but she also didn't know my story she didn't know that I <laughs> I'm mourning the loss of what could have been, you know? 
She didn't know that I wasn't going to touch the baby. I just wanted to smell his hair. She didn't... She didn't know, but also, like, I don't know her story. We only had this brief, troubling interaction, but what if she... I don't know what if the baby is recovering from something that some careless person infected the baby with or what if she um, what if the baby has a sibling that died from some respiratory illness that another careless person kissed the baby too much you know what I mean like we just don't know the stories of the people that we interact with she didn't know my story not to say she would have interacted any different but how can I be angry at her when I can be aware and mindful that she did not know my story. And that I don't know hers. And it was just a moment where it was, yeah, it was a moment where I felt intense shame. Like I would never do anything to hurt a baby. Um, and I was, rather than just like, in the past, I probably would have just been seething angry. Like, I would just have been so angry. But this time, I recognized and I labeled the shame and I labeled the embarrassment. And I felt the anger. And I was able to move because I was able to let all of that happen in my body. I was able to let the tears come out. Yes, I tried to hide them. But... what am I trying to say like I was so emotionally intelligent and emotionally vulnerable to myself I didn't have to share this with anybody I don't even have to be sharing this with you but it moved through and I was able to come to a resolution rather quickly and be able to move that through and be able to have compassion and grace I think that's what I'm looking for grace for myself for my embarrassment and grace for her for her embarrassment and her um, her need to protect her child in her way you know another thing that comes to my mind while I'm while I'm saying this is when we first learn to set up boundaries it can be really hard and that mother she set up some really strict boundaries um, and I didn't realize that I was you know overstepping said boundaries but she was embarrassed at her outburst I was embarrassed she saw that I was embarrassed which I'm sure added to her embarrassment if she's a normal human being but when we create boundaries for our safety or for our children's safety or for anything it is going to be initially really hard and we're gonna piss off a lot of people <laughs> she pissed me off I was horrified but she has a right to do what's right for her child and honestly I hope she learns from that opportunity you know that it's okay to make other people mad if you're doing it for the safety of your family or for you I am really proud of myself because the situation because of my rawness and because of my story and because of my pride and because of everything I felt like I, I handled that as well as I could have handled it I was just super mindful and aware through the whole thing and yeah I just wanted to share that thank you for listening off.